Pests are a part of farming, but they don't have to devastate farms like they used to thanks to research. I met up with Mike Willett of the Washington Tree Fruit Research Commission to talk about new ways tree fruit farmers are fighting pests. Apples like this, so they look wonderful and look perfectly adapted to this climate. Mm -hmm. They didn't come from here. Unfortunately, when people brought apples, they brought their pests, yeah. but, but they didn't bring the good guys that feed on the pests. So what's one of the main pests that well, one you have of the to deal main with? pests in, in apple orchards is codling moth. It was introduced from Central Asia without any of its natural enemies. Oh, yeah. And uh, codling moth in this part of the world without control will infest 100% of the fruit, causing great damage. There's been no management of codling moth in this in this orchard here, at least in this part of the orchard. And you can see the, yeah. the spotting on the apple. And if we cut it, you can normally find larvae inside the fruit. <laughs> I just got the shivers. Washington apple farmers can monitor the presence of codling moth by using traps that emit a female pheromone attracting the males. Once the threat is detected, rather than spraying their orchards, farmers use an interesting device to deter the codling moth. This plastic something or other contains that same pheromone that was inside that little capsule okay. in the trap. And what scientists realize, if they put a large enough dose that lasted the entire season of the, pheromone. of the pheromone inside the tubes of this plastic, that the male moths would get confused by following these point sources and not be able to find the females that were also emitting the same pheromone. They essentially uh, become um, confused into inaction. <laughs> yeah. And that results in no damage. There we go. Wow. What are some of the benefits of using integrated pest management compared to other options? Well, obviously one of the distinct advantages is that you don't end up in a cycle of resistance. A lot of the research that's being done here at uh, Washington State University is focused on trying to understand more about the biology of the natural enemies that do exist. To incorporate those kinds of uh, generalist predators into a program uh, means that that's essentially a, a cost-free approach to pest management and we're seeing more and more of that being done in orchards here in Central so Washington. Important. Yeah. To learn more about some of the integrated pest management systems farmers are using in Washington, head to wagrown.com.